Hi there, everybody. Today is day eight of Advent Reflections, and I'm going to start this one with a statement. I am a fan of the Grinch. Now, it's not that I'm a Grinch about Christmas, though some people might wonder, but I'm a fan of the Grinch. I appreciate what the Grinch did in, in Dr. Seuss's A Grinch Stole Christmas Story. I appreciate what he did, because in the storyline, what he did was he, he called into question the festive celebrations of this little town of Whoville. And it wasn't until he kind of shook things up and messed with their neat little Christmas, it wasn't until he messed things up that, that the people of Whoville actually thought seriously about what it was that they were doing. If the Grinch hadn't caused a little ruckus and done his Grinchy thing, the people of Whoville would have just continued on doing their neat little Christmas celebrations without thinking much about what they did and why they did it. And so I like the Grinch uh, because I like to pause and think about what in the world we're doing and why we're doing it. And I think in some ways that's at the heart of Advent. We celebrate Jesus' coming into this world, yes. And that is a thing that brings joy, celebration, hope, light in darkness, all of that. But Jesus' coming also is supposed to cause us humans on this planet to stop and think about what in the world we're doing and why we're doing it. And whether or not it's actually participating in God's uh, salvation in this world. Salvation isn't this thing that just kind of magically happens when we believe Jesus is Lord. Salvation is supposed to sort of permeate our world and disrupt our lives and change how we live. In the Gospel of Luke, in chapter 1, Mary has her response to the reality of what's going on. And one thing she says that is going to be sort of a signal for what Jesus is all about is that she says in Matthew or in Luke chapter 1 that God in coming in Jesus has pulled the powerful down from their thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. At another part it says he scattered those with arrogant thoughts and proud inclinations. Our human tendencies in this world, even in our Christmas celebrations, is just to move ahead with what feels good, with what we always do, and seldom do we stop and reflect on what it is that we're doing. So for today, as we think about Advent, as we continue to journey through Advent, pause on Mary's words that what God is doing is shaking things up in this world scattering the proud, lifting up the lowly, and sending away those who are self-sufficient and full of their own good things. How is that sort of Advent a reality for us today? And how does it shake you up a little bit? And maybe like the Grinch, reflecting on this side of Jesus' coming, will cause us to think about what it is we're doing and why. And maybe the end result will be that we are a little bit more thoughtful about reflecting God's goodness and God's transformative entrance into our world through our practices, rather than just ignoring all that stuff. So let it unsettle you a little bit. That's what Advent's about in part. I hope you have a good day today as we continue to journey through Advent and reflect on what it really means for our lives as we listen to the story and think about it. Have a good one today.